cryogenic chamber is a freezing cold room used to treat common health conditions and help top athletes recover from injury, helping to repair their muscles. But today, I'm using it to find out how our bodies react in extreme cold. That room is minus 60 degrees, and the room behind me is minus 135 degrees. That's five times colder than the coldest day ever recorded in the UK. What's it going to feel like? Chilly. <laughs> this is Renate Zajay, and she'll be monitoring me to keep me safe when I'm in the cryogenic chamber. So clearly I'm going to need a very warm coat to go in there. No, just very, very small clothes, not very warm clothes. This is it? This is all I get? This is only that. Perfect. What do I mean, perfect? This doesn't look like nearly enough clothes. I might be cold, but at least I'm going to look stylish. Headband, vest, shorts, two pairs of socks, clogs, face mask, gloves. I told you I'd be looking good. So I've got James with me filming, but James can't come in with that camera. So I've got a special camera with me, which I can take in there. So I'm not going alone. You're coming with me. Here we go. And it'll be so cold in there that I need the face mask to stop my snot and saliva from freezing. Whoa. Oh. Oh. OK. It's very... It is very cold but it's quite manageable because it's very dry. It's also very... It's, it's almost sort of foggy in here. So the room I'm in at the moment is as cold as the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth. But this room is just preparing my body for the next room, which is twice as cold. Minus 135, here I come. Oh. OK. Um. It's so cold in here that I can only stay in for three minutes, and Renate will be monitoring me the whole time to make sure I'm safe. It's very hard to describe quite how cold this is. The closer I get to the floor... Oh, 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 this is now very, very, very cold. It's very hard to think it's so cold, actually. The shock to my body is making it hard to control my breathing. I'm getting goosebumps all over my arm, and you can see every single hair on my arm is standing straight up. And the reason that's happening is that my body is trying to trap a layer of air very close to my skin and uh, I'm shaking a lot. Shivering like this is my body getting my muscles moving to generate heat and keep me warm. As my hand gets cold, you can see all the blood goes out of my skin and now my fingertips are going absolutely white. Very, very cold indeed. That's because as my body gets colder, it's making a choice. It's taking the blood away from the parts of my body it can do without, like my fingers and toes, and putting it into the centre of my body to keep vital organs like my heart and brain alive. I'm now coming up to almost three minutes. I will be very pleased to come out. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's so much better. This is like walking into an oven. But when you're cold, you get goosebumps, and that's your skin trying to trap a layer of warm air around your body. So what you can see from that is how important your skin is in regulating your body temperature. And when you get extremely cold, your body starts making choices about what it wants to keep going. Very, very, very quickly, my body takes the warm blood from my skin, brings it into the middle of my body to keep my organs warm, my brain going, all of these things. When I come out into the warm, my body immediately releases that blood and you can see it all going to my skin. And there's a very good reason why our bodies react like this in the cold. My core body temperature, that's the temperature in the middle of my body, had dropped by even four degrees. It could have been fatal. What's so interesting about being in a room that cold is that you can see all the incredible things your body does to keep you at exactly the right temperature. Ouch. Hospital doctors and nurses always expect the unexpected. Let's see how they fix our first patient. This one's a bit gory, injury fans. We're in accident and emergency at Alderhey Hospital in Liverpool, where 11-year-old Olivia has come in with a metal hook from her dinner pass stuck in her hand. Like I told you, gory. I had hold of it, and then we made... He pulled it off my neck, cos he went, can I have it? And I went, no. Right. I said, no. OK. And then he pulled it. Right. Went, ow. Uh, I yeah. Know, what are you doing? And looked at me, uh, and OK. Not real. That's not real. So hold on. Right. Take a breather, Olivia. What? Let's start again, shall we? It was lunchtime at school and Olivia was in the food queue. She 
she was wearing her dinner pass around her neck and contemplating the sausages when her schoolmate started larking about. He said, can I borrow your pass? She said, no you can't. So he pulled her pass really hard. Olivia tried to hold on to it. He pulled, she pulled, and the next minute, the hook went into her hand. Ouch! That looks nasty. Oh, yes. Not that Olivia seems too down about it. Still, Mum, Dad and Brother George have arrived for some moral support. So, what do you think of your sister's wound then, George? It looks like a pomegranate. A pommy what? A pomegranate that got stuck in there with a hook. It's a blood clot, because if that wasn't there, then all the blood would just... Be look, look. Let's see what Nurse Laura makes of it. We well, might need to have a little x-ray, you know, just so we can see how deep it's gone and then how we're going to get it out. But Olivia's mum raises another problem. Olivia is due to take part in her school play tonight. She's supposed to be in Bugsy Malone drama production um, and she's wanting to be, still be in the show. Is it a practice tonight? No, it's a proper one. She's been practising since October. It's only three hours to go till the play starts, but will Olivia make it on stage? It just depends. We need to see how deep it's gone in first. With the clock ticking, let's get those x-rays done. If the hook turns out to be too close to the bone, Olivia may need an operation. Uh. We'll be back later to find out if Olivia can be de-hooked in time for that play. <laughs>